Hello and welcome to episode 25 of the only game that locks 100% completion behind the most tedious, arduous, time-consuming, and soul-draining collectathon ever. It's The Legend of Zelda The Manish Cap. We are on the cusp of collecting the last figurine forever. I don't even want to tell you how long it took. Um, but I found an exploit and I was able to do it in a lot less time, but it was still a lot of time. <laughs> uh, it still took forever uh, to get the to do it because it's just annoying. Um, anyway, but we are on the cusp of doing it. Let's get over here. Let's trade. We're not taking any risks here. We're going for a 100%. This is the last time we're ever going to see these stupid Easter eggs. And that is it. That is the last figurine. And speaking of Easter, Happy Easter, everyone. Uh, today is Easter. I am recording on Easter, so I hope your your Easter eggs are filled with chocolate and money or whatever Easter eggs are filled with as opposed to these stupid figurines. But anyway, that's it. Congratulations. You've now collected all of the figurines that I have made. I'll keep a good eye on all of your figures in the case. Please come see them anytime. Um, at the end of this episode, I will be showing all of the figurines and all their little descriptions. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and move on with our lives and collect this piece of heart that we've been fighting for for the last frickin' you know, week? Alright then. Alright, we'll be making our way over to Hyrule Castle to fuse our sword with power. Yes, let's just go ahead and see what Ezlo has to say. We haven't talked to Ezlo in a while. I am overcome. We got all the elements now. Now we can retrieve the sacred blade. You'll have Princess Zelda back to normal in no time. All right. Let's do it. Let's just do it. We've waited long enough. You guys have waited long enough for this moment. And I've waited long enough to finally be able to play the game. Oh. Can't leave a ruby behind like that. Alright, that's much better. 400 is better than 399. Alright. I guess we have to come around here and do this thing again. Hey! Hey, you saw me! Hey! Hey, by the order of the king! Yes, just keep patrolling on your little patrol route. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Oh, no. You saw me, but the first guy didn't? Oh, ho, ho. Ah, uh, bogus. Bogus. All right, let's not get greedy this time. This time we'll be patient. I guess this is patient. I don't. I don't. No, oh, come on. How did we do this last time with no problem? You can stand next to them, you just can't stand in front of them. Because that makes all of the sense. All right. 
right. Let's get in here and fuse this sword with more magical power. Yes, all of the power. Look at that. With the gold hilt and handle. Power of the wind element has infused your blade. With the power of the four elements, your blade has become the four sword. Because of the four elements, you see. Focus power in your blade and release the fire of beam. Use it to break Vati's curse and restore the people of Hyrule. Oh, yes. Look at all the power. A magical door, you say? Hmm. It seems that forging a sacred blade somehow opened the doorway. It must lead to the room that holds the secret of the light force. Link, we must go inside. Hmm, interesting. Look at the images on the stained glass. It's us! And Zelda. And the king. Or is that Ganon? I bet those pictures show us where the light force is hidden. A long, long time ago. When the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. The tiny peccary appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. And the force of the golden light embodied in Hyrule's princess shone forth upon the lands. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. So that's what it means. <laughs> Ezlo, you really are too kind. First, you give me my magic cap, and then you guide me here. You've been far too generous, but now I no longer have any use for you. How'd you get down here? How'd he know we were here? Yeah, it's fine. Just stand there. <laughs> At last, I finally know the location of the Light Force. Oh yeah? Because I don't. That didn't really tell us anything. Link, wake up. Can't you wake up, Link? Fatty disguised himself as the king to search for the Light Force. When he learned of this place, he waited for us to reforge the blade. If that stained glass is accurate, Princess Zelda holds the Light Force. Fatih will do whatever it takes to steal that power from her. If he succeeds, we may, never, we may never be able to return the princess to normal. We've wasted too much time, Link. You've been napping for hours. We must stop Vati. Ooh, the music changes and everything. I like it. Okay. God, we gotta do this. Alright, things are about to get real. Wait, what? That's not what the castle looked like before. What? What is this? What's happened here? They've been turned to stone, all of them. The minister and the guards, everyone in the castle, just like Princess Zelda. This can only be the work of that evil Vati. Yeah, of course. What cruelty, Link. We must use the power of the sacred four swords to undo this evil. What? Oh, oh, thank you. You're the one who returned me to normal, aren't you? I don't know how you did it, but I can't thank you enough. Listen, have you seen how strange the king has been lately? 
That's because he's not the king at all. It's Vati. He's taking over the castle. One by one, he turned us all to stone. Cursed by his evil magic. Then the monsters arrived. He even paralyzed. I saw it all. I only pray it's not too late to undo his evil. You want to fuse kinstones? No? Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh gosh. Oh no. The whole conversation all over again. Link, we need your help. Vati took her pre petrified princess to the roof of the castle. You, he must be planning something fiendish. You must stop him. Can I? I can't push him. I have to. I have to help him. Where's the evil option? Oh, thanks. The real king of Hyrule must be locked up somewhere in the castle. Please find him. As soon as we've recovered, we'll start looking too. Yeah, I guess your your knees must be a little stiff. I suppose after all that standing around. Whoa! Is this really Hyrule Castle? I can't believe it. What's happened here? Vati happened. That's right. Vati's magic has grown more powerful than I'd imagined. But the king and Zelda are in danger, Link. Let's go! Okay. Well, down here is our recovery room. That's our main goal right now. I don't think I got some some of that. I don't think those are fairies. I think in the left jar. So I'm gonna leave them in there. I believe. Yeah, we're a lot stronger now. Some of these doors are fake. Fake door, so we just gotta be careful here. Just patience, patience is all. Alrighty. Oh, get, get out of here! There's... No, don't, none of that. <laughs> all right, you're starting. There we go. You're starting to annoy me. Young friend. You're just a little too too eager and excited. And that just that irritates me. I can't stand it when people are always doing things. Oh, Alright. Try to avoid this guy here. Good thing we landed on the carpet. Nice and soft. Go down in this little hole here. All right. You can't seem to open that conveniently. The door to the prison cells is inside the cell itself. Let's go ahead and turn the King of Hyrule back into a human. Oh, you're not going to say anything? Oh, I have to talk to you. Okay. Oh, Link! Uh, are you the one who broke the curse and returned me to normal? You've grown up, yo. Oh, you've grown quite brave since I last saw you. I must say, but oh, how this castle has suffered while I was in Nevati's curse. This is all the work of one man. As king of Hyrule, I must do something about this villain. But I, I'm old and would only hold you back, Link. You have the sacred blade now. We must rely on you. Please, you must find a way to rescue my Zelda. Take this key. You can use it to get out of the castle from the basement. Yay, we got a small key. This is the smallest little key. Alright, we're gonna make our way back. Back up top. I love the music! And I can't say that enough about this game. This game is just... The music in this game. 
Seriously, just so good. Go ahead and avoid those guys. Become four link. We just gotta be patient here and just go around the long way. You know what touches? I think those those light you on, light your butt on fire and make you run really fast. Avoid that door. This is the only real door. All the other ones are false doors. Oh! I did not expect the wizard robes here. I'm a lot stronger now. My sword does a lot more damage. Ooh! Yep. Oh, come on. There we go. We got ourselves the dungeon map. Let's take a quick look at the map here. As you can see, she's on the roof. We got a long ways to go, boys and girls. Make it easier and safer. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, I think, however, I'm going to make my way out of the dungeon. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, what we what we have to do right now, actually, um, now that we have the four sword, we can collect the last pieces of heart. And uh, we need to do that. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, and leave the castle. All right, here we go. Now these guys are blocking the entrance. I don't know why. Why are you guys blocking the entrance? Hey, you, none may enter. I don't understand. The king is back to normal. Oh my gosh. Well, yes. I guess, uh... Well, yeah, I don't know. I thought things would be different out here. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves the last pieces of heart. I'm gonna do this in the most edited possible way so that we're not wasting a lot of time. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Hyrule Town to the schoolhouse. Now, I've been to the schoolhouse on my own trying to collect rupees and mysterious shells but we've never been to the schoolhouse together so we're gonna do that right now I'll see you guys at the schoolhouse all right welcome to the schoolhouse we're gonna go ahead and go inside and uh, these two little lingus and dingus here they don't want to leave they love school I love school I never want to leave and the two poor ladies here they got their beaten sticks and uh, all they want to do is go home. I have to see these kids off and get home myself. Yeah, she's hungry and tired because she doesn't get her uh, her break. Now we're going to go out here into the playground. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's um, a miniature track or something. We're going to go out here. And this is quite a dangerous little area, so we have to be careful. There are some new enemies here. Um... I think maybe I'm making that up anyway as you can see I've been here before I got a, a, a chest full of rupees um, but I didn't want to get this piece of heart without you guys so I collected this piece of heart tell me there are, if, if I find if I find mysterious shells here I'm gonna throw my controller okay well just kinstone pieces that I'll never use again I believe this uh, treasure chest had some rupees in it. Alright, so now we're out of here. We're going to go to the next... Oh, there's a minish. Oh, there was a minish up there. Uh, yeah, I went up here and collected. I think those were uh, seashells up in that one. And it's just, you go through here and you go through the other little door. Uh, but anyway, on to the next... A uh, little bit of of side quest in here. Let's go outside. 
so we've made our way to the Minish Village, and we're going to go to that house way off on the far, far, far uh, east, northeastern side of town that you have to swim to get to, so I'll see you guys at that house. Alright, we're in this little fella's house. We'll go ahead and fuse kinstones with this guy. We got one of these rare pieces that we have so few of. And we're gonna go ahead and cause a landmass to appear at Veil vale Falls. So after this, I'm gonna go back to Hyrule Town and get to Veil vale Falls through the north part of uh, North Hyrule Field. Because that is the easiest way to get there. Yeah, I was wondering if that was going to work because I'm actually Minish. And that bird would be like the size of a pterodactyl for us right now. So I will see you guys there. Alright, so here we are. I'm just going to jump right off. Grab the mole mitts here. Oh no, get in there. Get in there. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Dig our way up here. And look at that. Got ourselves another piece of heart. We are one away from another heart container. Alright, so next we're gonna go. Uh back over to Lake Hylia. I will see you guys over there. So you might notice I'm not at Lake Hylia at all. Before we do that, we can actually fuse with this guy again. We're gonna, and we're gonna do so. So you might wanna do this before you actually uh, go as far as I had because that's exactly what we were looking for. Uh, that's the next place we're going. I wonder if I could fuse with them a third time. That is it. Just two ice. So now I will see you at that exact location at Lake Hylia. It's right next to the uh, Windcrest anyway. So it'll be super convenient. I will right, we'll go ahead and shrink. Hop into the hole. We got ourselves a little mini dungeon here, so we gotta be ready. Great. Let's try this again. This time with a little less fail. Oh, wow. Oh, yep, that hurt. Ah, screw off, man. I guess patience is the key here. I'm not a very patient man. And look who it is! Oh, how'd you find me, kid? You're a real humdinger. So since you found me, I'm gonna give you my number one treasure and keep up the good work. It's an entire heart container. Our life energy has been increased and replenished. Look at that. That is pretty amazing. I believe this is the only instance where anything like this will ever happen. So. Alright, our last, last piece of heart is going to be back in Hyrule Castle Town. I've been saving this one for the very end because it was the hardest one to collect in the history of time. Let's go talk to the guy sitting outside of the milk bar. I can't believe you did it. This is a totally complete set. How incredibly awesome. And you even got the legendary Karlov medal. It shines with a beautiful light. It's every collector's dream. What you've shown me here is just amazing. Here, 
feel free to go in my house and take whatever you want. Thanks. Because, you know, I'm rich. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we can finally go in here. And got the piece of heart. Complete a new heart container. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is everything. 200 rupees that we'll never need again. 200 rupees that we'll never need again. 200 rupees that we'll never need again. And that, my friends, is the last piece of heart. We have completely collected all of the figurines, all of the tiger scrolls, all of the pieces of heart, everything in the game except one item that actually, unfortunately, we cannot complete until after the game is complete. We have to go talk to the giant Goron. Uh, but that, I guess, will have to wait till the after game, the post game. But for now, we're going to cut it here. In the next episode, we're going to start off at Dark Hyrule Castle. And we're going to go ahead and beat the game. We're going to beat the game next episode. Um, following this, I'm going to go ahead and show the figurine. All the figurines and all the descriptions. So if you care about that, go ahead and wait till the end of the episode. And uh, there will be a little section behind this uh, with all the figurines that you can look at if you care. Otherwise, thank you for joining me for another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. And I will see you in the next episode, the grand finale. See you guys then.